Welcome to this new Popcorn FX video tutorial. This video will show you how to use shape samplers and what you can do with them. The shape sampler allows you to sample different probabilities of various 3D shapes, including custom meshes. It's a very useful feature that can help you to do some cool effects easily. So, to add a shape sampler, just right click on samplers and choose C particle sampler shape. You can visualize the new shape in the viewport by clicking on this node in the tree view. The show debug button allows you to see every sampler you created in all the layers, but you can also use Ctrl D. General parameters appear by clicking on the sampler shape with several properties you can edit. Don't forget to rename the sampler because you will need to use its name in your scripts and it will be easier to know which shape you're using. For the first example, we can call it emit underscore shape. In the spawn script, we change the size of the particle and remove the constant acceleration in the physics evolver and set the particle position to a random position on the mesh. Position equal emit underscore shape that symbol position. Increase the layer spawn count to 1000 so it's easier to see the changes we are making. By clicking on the sample shape you can edit its properties. Here you can also change the name. The sample dimensionality property is set to surface by default. Surface will sample the shape's surface. Volume will sample the shape's volume. Several shape types are available. And all of these shapes are customizable. But one of the most interesting features of the shape sampler is the possibility to sample custom meshes. An important thing to say about mesh resource is that you have to build your set before using it in a particle system. In the content browser, be sure to enable the mesh display. Just double click on your mesh and Popcorn will automatically ask if you want to build it. We build the sets because it allows Popcorn to save the mesh in its own optimized file format. Now our mesh is built, we can load it into our particle system. Just click on the empty mesh resource property and choose the mesh you just built. With a custom mesh, we can also sample vertices. If fixed location count is not zero, it will pre-sample that number of locations and reuse them at one time. And you can use different locations with the fixed location seed. Let's see how the shape sampler is powerful, showing you the ways to use it. We began emitting particles from a shape using its position, but we can also grab the vertex cutter. First, we create a new curve field. You can easily create it by clicking on the preset button. And in the sparrow script, we sample the vertex cutter and plug it in our new color field by typing the sampler's name, that sample color. But because the position and color are picked randomly on the mesh, they are picked at different locations and do not match. To solve that, let's talk about parametric coordinates. Parametric coordinates are some kind of abstract location that a sample function can use. And with this, our position and color will be able to pick the information of our mesh at the same location. To use it, declare a new local variable of type in3 because parametric coordinates are in3 type. p curls equal sampler's name that sample parametric curls. And for our sampler function to use these coordinates, just pass the parametric coordinates variable to our function. Our position and color are now picking the information in the same location. And we now get a consistent look. There are many other ways to use the shape sampler feeder that we'll quickly show you. You can sample the distance field of the mesh as in this matrix-like effect. 
Here, one shape is used to emit particles, and another one, a custom mesh, is used to highlight these particles depending on its distance field. The projection is also a powerful feature that uses shape samplers, as you can see with this projection on a wizard. This one also uses parametric coordinates and shape normals to set the velocity of the particles. Shape sampling allows you to trigger particle events, like in this effect, where we check if the particle is contained by the shape. You can also trigger events when the particles collide with the shape. Two of the features need to use shape samplers to work attractors and limit distance. Both are used in this effect. This will conclude our shape sampler tutorial. Thanks for watching!